Hey guys, this is Chubbs, and today I just wanted to make a video explaining why I love the base building mechanics in Active Aggression. Uh, now in this game, the way in which you build bases is actually pretty similar to in the old Command & Conquer games where you have a sidebar and then you uh, more or less do everything through the sidebar. Uh, however, at the same time, this game also takes some of the elements from uh, Warcraft, Starcraft, even Active, Aggr uh, Active War and Command & Conquer Generals where you have worker units uh, and also uh, buildings that uh, are constructed by those workers. So in order to construct something in this game, you first select your HQ, which is like the main building that you start with each time. And then down here at the bottom, you have your building construction icons and you just click those and then you click on the building you want to construct. Uh, now the, the reason this is similar to the sidebar interface in the Command and Conquer games to me is there's a, uh, an icon here that you can use to quickly select your HQ at any time. So let's say I select my recon unit and I bring it out here and I'm away from my HQ where I can't see it to click on it. Uh, well I can just go down and click on this button here and I've now selected my HQ so that I can uh, place buildings and then get back to whatever I was doing. You can also double click it to center on your HQ. Uh, now of course you can also tie your HQ to a control group uh, but having that button there is what really reminds me of the sidebar since it's available at all times to you even if you don't have it uh, assigned to a control group. Now as far as the base building itself what you do is once you uh, find a building that you want to place you click it uh, you move it wherever you want it to be, you rotate it, then you click again. Uh, and then here in the lower left you'll see this progress meter and this is actually it being paid for rather than being constructed. And then once it's been paid for, a dozer will automatically leave the HQ. And this dozer will then automatically go to the construction site and begin constructing the building. So if I click on the building you can see this progress bar here. And then once this progress bar goes all the way up, uh, the building will be constructed and the dozer as you can see is no longer there so this removes a lot of micromanagement because since the dozers are automated and they disappear after completed construction uh, you don't have to worry about finding them again and giving them new orders or anything like that so what I'll do is I'll quickly build a bunch of buildings here just in, in succession to show you how that helps as far as micromanagement goes and things like that so I'll first just scout out these resources here real quick before I do that. Okay, so what I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to place down a bunch of buildings here just in quick succession. Uh, place a refinery here, some stockpiles. Okay, so notice as these buildings are paid for, these dozers will automatically come out of my HQ and automatically go to the proper building sites. So this is all being done without me having to micromanage anything. All I do is place the building and then these dozers come out and they do the rest once the buildings are paid for. Another good thing about this system is uh, just like in Warcraft and Starcraft and so on, since you still have dozers that actually come out and build things instead of uh, structures just popping up like in Command and Conquer once you place them down, uh, those dozers can be killed along the way. Uh, and you can also scout out like uh, sc the scaffolding as buildings are being raised uh, and see what building your opponent's constructing and things like that. That's actually one of the things I never liked about the Command and Conquer sidebar system is uh, since the buildings were both paid for and constructed within the sidebar, you had no way of really knowing what your opponent was building or even stopping that. Uh, but this system completely changes that. Um, so I, I just really like it. To me, this is one of the best systems uh, as far as base building goes in any real-time strategy game to date. I don't know if you guys agree with that, but I mean, I just I really like how little micromanagement it requires uh, while it still maintains the, the good things about the uh, Command and Conquer and the StarCraft systems. Uh, now one thing uh, that I, I didn't mention is that just like in Command and Conquer also, notice that when I go to place a building like a barracks, it has to be within close proximity of my other buildings. That is one uh, kind of downside to this system. That was something I also never really liked about Command and Conquer. Um, however, you do have these structures that you can place that kind of extend your construction range uh, like these stockpiles they do that so if I for example place a stockpile right here and uh, let a dozer come out and construct it what will happen is that will then increase my uh, construction range so that I can then put buildings like all around it here 
so this shouldn't take long at all to construct so I'll let it finish and I'll just show you guys real quick so now if I go to construct a barracks or even an MG nest notice that I can put it way out here now so that's increased my range so you can do that to keep your bases from being too compact and uh, too susceptible to super weapons and uh, area of effect uh, weapons like that uh, anyways I just wanted to show you guys this uh, and share my thoughts because I again I really like this system I think it's just great it really does combine the best things of Command and Conquer and uh, Starcraft in my opinion uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions about uh, base building in this game or just active aggression in general uh, just leave feel free to leave a comment on this video uh, but this is Chubbs Doomer signing out <laughs>